So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your I don't know it's 13th reactions tutorial I guess and in this tutorial what we are gonna do is uh, obviously continue with our app but right now what we are seeing is that there is a sort of an external sort of array in our program which is taskless and that kind of doesn't look nice so let's just move that array to our state of this to do app so we can say this dot state is equal to um, this or actually just curly braces first and we can say tasks is this dot props dot tasks what we have in here um, task list like that and then finally we can just pass this dot state dot tasks right there right so now we have our state saved in there uh, we are passing in our task and obviously you would need to either pass in props into super or just make use of props right there like that okay so now what about the updation part well the app list works just fine we are just sending some tasks in there and uh, it will just update when we change the state somewhere here so actually we need to change this props dot actually this tasks right there whenever we add a task from this thing so it's time to create our on summit so i'm gonna create an on summit here and i'm gonna say that uh, um, this dot uh, just submitted and we can say just submitted is a method which kind of gives us an event and the first thing we want to do is prevent the page from reloading so there we go now we stay there now the next thing is that we need to get what the user typed actually so uh, we can just add it to the you know the list so we can just get that text by event dot target now event dot target is this form so we're gonna do a query selector here so that we can just make use of uh, reach to this input and this is just sort of things we would just do normally in JavaScript and then we can just say value right there or instead we can just make use of this as an input and we can just uh, leave it right there we can say our value is input dot value and then we can say input dot value is just blank so that we can just give a sort of a reset field that your task has been added right so now we have this value and then how the heck do we get this back to our main right there so that we can update our state well again we can just pass in a prop right there uh, we can say update list as this dot update uh, list maybe let's just do that so we can say update list and uh, then what we can do right here is that we can say first of all let's just get our tasks this dot state dot tasks list we can say tasks dot uh, push and uh, we'll obviously get an argument here which is our text text and uh, finally we're gonna say this dot state dot uh, or actually set state and uh, we're gonna say tasks is tasks or let's just rename this to updated task so that it doesn't cause any confusion like that and here we go so again if we are making use of this right there so we need to make sure that we are binding it so I'm gonna say this dot update list is equal to this dot update list dot bind this again just because we are making use of this right there okay so now if we see then it looks like it would just work fine so let's just see what we get in the browser 
So we have map of undefined for now and uh, tasks. Let's just see what's happening there. So in our to do app, well, well, obviously we are passing it as a task and we are accessing it as a task list. Obviously, that doesn't make sense. So, <clears throat> yeah, okay. All right, so now you can see that we get our app running. And if I write something like ABC and hit enter, well, nothing happens. And uh, actually, something happens. We get our value right there, but we are not calling that uh, props function. So we might need to do that just now. This dot props dot uh, what we have there update list update list and then our value and uh, uh, okay 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 we are just accessing this again so we need to make sure this dot just submitted is running in the same context right there so if I write ABC hit enter push of undefined okay this is tasks right there abc hit enter you can see that we pretty much get a task added inside our list right there if i zoom in a little like that easy stuff so that's how pretty much you create a very basic to do app and we are still missing the remove task and all that stuff and again if we just reload our tasks are gone so we're gonna just take a look at how to prevent that and all that stuff in some coming tutorials so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and i'll be posting the source code of this app in the description i'll be just giving some links so you can just download that so that's all for this one and if you liked it then again don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching